on Best of Both Worlds, we're gonna be talking about Jennifer's leg veins. And so Jennifer, when, we, when she found out we were looking for a volunteer, she was like, oh, pick me, pick me, pick me. And that's very emotional for Jennifer because she's pretty, usually pretty calm and sedate. So tell us why you got so excited about doing the leg veins. Because um, no one wants to have little spider veins on their legs, especially when you wear shorts during the summer. We wear shorts all, all year round here in the desert. Do you ever cover up because of the veins or no? Yes, you use like ma like makeup. And you're tired of using makeup. I am. So we're gonna be talking about different solutions to take care of the superficial spider veins. And we'll talk a little bit about the deeper veins as well. So join us for Bob W. Welcome to Best of Both Worlds, and today we're going to be talking about leg veins. Now, leg veins bother people a lot, and um, what we have is we have three different types of veins. There's going to be the big ropey ones that pop out. Those are called varicose veins. Everyone knows those, and it's surprising that a lot of people don't know there are two other types of veins that people get. And we have Jennifer here today, who's our candidate to get treatments for leg veins. And if you look here, you can see she's got some, some bluish green ones here. These are called reticular veins. Now they're the medium sized vessel. The big ones are the varicose veins. And then she has these little teeny spider veins called um, telangiectasias. And so today we're gonna to be talking about the difference between using glycerin for uh, the smallest veins um, and also a sclera. Um, for the different veins. Now, one is a detergent, and that's gonna be the Esclera. And this one was recently FDA approved, well, not recently, but five years ago or six years ago. And the, the reason this one got approved was because it causes less pain when you inject it. There's less risk of the skin around it getting irritated and causing necrosis or death of the, the tissue. And the third thing is there's less pigmentation from the blood extravasating or leaking out into the surrounding tissue. So people love this one. My favorite for the smaller veins is gonna be glycerin. And this one is a chemical irritant and it's basically a sugar type uh, compound. And I like this one better because it's a little bit thicker so I think it sticks to the blood vessel wall a little bit better. And it also has very low risk of pain and it has an even lower risk of necrosis or killing the tissue around it. Um, so this is my favorite, but we're gonna demonstrate them both today. And so we'll start with the Esclera. We've already wiped down Jennifer's legs. So we're just gonna get started here. And the great thing about um, doing leg veins is it's very satisfying because you can see by doing that, the veins just start to disappear right away. So you can see here, you do this. See those veins just disappearing. And they don't die immediately. What we have to do is we have to wait for the vessels to get irritated. So what happens is they, um, coagulate, there's coagulation of the blood inside the vessel, and then it causes necrosis of the vessel wall. There we go, get some good ones like that. And again here, you can see a bunch of them are disappearing. Now, one of the risks of doing this procedure is we, what we call matting or uh, telangiectasia. Now we're gonna to switch to the glycerin, which is my favorite. See, it's a little bit thicker, it's harder to push. Was this in the refrigerator? Okay, um, when it's in the refrigerator, it makes it really hard to push. So um, we'll go down here and do some of these here. So matting is uh, a condition where you can see that was all disappearing, but it sort of sticks. It's like, it's more like uh, a very thick, product so it really does stay in place a little bit longer and the longer it's in place with the blood vessel the better the result is going to be you can see that whole area is lightening up we typically are going to do a series of five treatments with our patients and we do them at monthly intervals and i sort of mix and match depending on how big the blood vessel is the smaller the blood vessel the um, the more apt I am to use the glycerin. You can see these just disappearing as I inject them. See, they just go away. And that's all there is to it, and that's the difference between glycerin and um, the Esclera. So if you have any questions, contact us at Contraderm.